a- after y'all dropped that first game, just what was uh, the, the feeling like and the confidence level like uh, coming into that situation in the second? Yeah. Um, we were just in the locker room, just kind of resetting. And I went into that game with all the confidence, knowing we would walk out of it with a dub. Um, no one beats us. No one beats the Sooners twice. And um, I think we really just stuck to our game plan and kind of um, zoned in on what it was that we needed to do. Joe. Joe Irwin, Banner Eyes in Oklahoma. Hope, uh, just going into the second game, obviously, it's a winner take all and being on the stage for the first time. What was going through your head going into this one? Um, stick to my routine. That's something I've been working on for a long time, pretty much the whole postseason now. Um, but also just treating it like another game. There's no reason to psych myself out or any of the girls out by treating it like it's a special game that we have to win. We don't, we don't have to do anything. We just have to play our game, and that's what we are doing. Eric? Uh, this question is for Jocelyn and Tiare. What was Coach Gasso like between games? I, you've played a lot of games, Jocelyn, a lot of games with her, and Tiare, this is your second year. What was her demeanor like? What was her message to the team? Start with Jocelyn, please. Yeah, definitely just reassuring us she's not going to, like, yell at us before a game. I don't see the point in that. But um, she's just reassuring us and just letting us know, like, we're good. Like, it's just about how we come out the next game. And it was all positive affirmations. Tiare? Yeah, exactly what she said, Um, just calm and collective, keeping us positive um, and just taking a breath, taking a moment just to reset and go out there and um, just know what, do what we know how to do. James. James Hale, CBS Sports Radio in Oklahoma City. This is for Jocelyn Jocelyn Tiare. In the first game, you guys hit the ball. I mean, you squared up some things, but everything was kind of left on the warning track, but certainly changed in the second game. So what did you learn from the first game that got you to the second game that you had so much better results? Start with Tiare, please. Yeah, the first game we were on it. Um, I mean, we saw both pitchers. We um, were seeing the ball really well. I think in the second, we just really made our adjustments to low line drives, um, you know, attack early in the count, get with the pitch that you want, um, and just controlling the strike zone a lot more. Jocelyn? Yeah, just exactly what Tiari said, just controlling the strike zone and um, just kind of not trying to be a big hero in those moments, like especially when your backs are against the wall um, and just going out there and just continuing to play our game. Uh, just take us through your confidence level because from the very beginning, you just jump on them from the start. It looked like you were just saying, there's no way we're going to lose this game. No, no way we're going to lose twice in a row. Start with Jocelyn, please. Yeah, I think um, – it all starts at the top with Jada and just her really good at bats and then just kind of bleeding into me and Tiari and that bleeds into the rest of the team. So I think it's just us being confident collectively just as a unit and I'll, I'll put anyone up there and I know that they're going to get the job done. So just a matter of um, us trusting ourselves. Tiari? Yeah, and also just passing the bat. I think in the first game we were focusing on that as well. In the second game we really actually did it. So I think um, just passing the bat, keeping the order along and get on as when you as much as you can, um, and then we'll try and score you in. But just passing the bat was our uh, mentality. Patty, sort of along the lines of what I asked uh, Jocelyn, uh, what was the feeling like after that that first one going into the second one, and how big was it to get that (coughs) game started uh, the way you all did uh, with that three-run homer? Yeah, this – I think this team wanted to show Nicole May, we got you. Um, I also think – they know they are very prideful and they truly do believe that no one can beat them back to back or twice period. I mean, that's the way they think. And so they came out very calm, um, very cool, very, when we knew who was pitching, they were kind of excited, like, well, okay, we know we've seen it. We're ready. They just felt very confident. I think hope felt very confident. She's been throwing really, really well. So I, I, it was just kind of, I'm going to get your back. Nobody beats us twice. Sometimes having a new umpire has something to do with the way the game changes. Um, it was just a lot, like, like a start over. Let's just start over. Let that go. But it's also knowing this is it. I mean, our season could be over. And we didn't even say that, but I think that drove them because they don't want to end. They would not do well ending with a loss here today. Jesse. 
Jesse Grant and Norman transcript. Just to, to kind of add on to that, obviously after that tough first game, you guys got the quick start you did. How is there an emphasis to kind of really jump out to a quick start like that, or is there just a trust in knowing that your your team's going to be ready and, and be able to bounce back and yeah. just the, the difference between those two games like I that? I think it's just the trust in our – we we always talk about trusting our training. We work hard. We've worked hard all year long, uh, and we pride ourselves in that. Another reason – she, she didn't like Jada Coleman walk three times. And I think she came around and score every time. Jada Coleman is the party starter, and she would be very happy with that um, title. So she, she gets everybody excited. She's fired up. She brings in the crowd. Um, so without her really like driving a ball through a gap, a walk, for her, just gives the bat to Jossie. There's this different kind of adrenaline when she's on and in the leadoff spot, and we've kept her there for that reason. But everybody kind of falls in once they see Jada on base, and she gets everybody fired up. So that that's a big part of this, too, is just her starting party, so to speak. Patty, you guys have lost three games now this year, and the three games following that, you've outscored your opponents 39 to nothing. All of them have been run rules. <laughs> uh, I, just what is it about your team not to just to come back and win games, but to be so dominant, so impose your will so much? It seems like your team almost takes losses personally. They do, I think. I think it's like a second chance. Like, we did that wrong. Let's do this right. And they all buy in on it. And I don't know. It's just they're, they're very prideful and very hardworking. And uh, they want to represent OU. They want to represent our sport. They want to, they just want to, you know, let people enjoy the way they play the game. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.